What's up guys, Robert of 7 here. I think this is the first unboxing video in almost a month. Might even have been a month since our last unboxing video, but uh, I've been saving up some pretty cool stuff to make a bigger video on. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get right into it. I got some cars to open up and some to keep in the box to show you guys. And uh, this is going to be our unboxing Halloween special. And this Saturday we have our Halloween track video coming. That is completely edited, ready to go up this sat this Sunday. Saturday, not Sunday. And that should be pretty good. I think it's our best one yet. So, uh, yeah, that's something to look forward to. And also, check out our full playthrough of Hot Wheels Velocity X. Um, something we've been wanting to do for a long time. We got the whole thing done, and it's a playlist on the channel currently. The full thing, start to finish. Uh, just the adventure mode. But without further ado, let's get into this. So, first up, I picked out this classic 1955... Chevy Nomad. Uh, I don't see them cast this car a lot, and I always pick it up when I do. And they always do a good job on the paint schemes, the color combo, everything. This is a really nice looking car. I'm going to be keeping this one in the box, simply because I just love the card art and the car itself. I have a couple of them already out of the box, so it wouldn't make sense to open this for track purposes. And uh, I just like the look of this in the box. So, yes, moving on, this one I'm going to be opening up. If you watch the History Channel Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary documentary, you're going to recognize this car. Uh, this is the Hot Wheels 50 concept. Um, this is supposed to be like a super groundbreaking design or whatever. This is their, um, this is basically the car they made to celebrate the entire 50 years of Hot Wheels being around. Uh, I think it's a sick looking car, but it has too much on its shoulders to uh, uh, live up to. And it doesn't live up to... 50 years of Hot Wheels, but it's still in its by itself a cool looking futuristic rat rod. I love the 50th anniversary wheels too. So this one's going to be getting opened up because it's supposed to be everything a Hot Wheels car need, needs to be. A great track car, a great looking car. Uh, I love the card art for the 50th anniversary cars with the uh, tan on the top and tan all throughout. I like the color combination for these and I love how they're all in the Hot Wheels racing livery. The axles on this sound a little weird. The wheels sound thick, like a McDonald's car. Anyway, I do notice the front wheels are exposed along with the back wheels, so I don't know how good this thing is through boosters. It looks like it has great ground clearance, though, with those big wheels, and it's probably phenomenal through loops and curves. I'll have to do a full review of this car on certain parts of uh, Hot Wheels track to see how it holds up. This might be our go-to car for track videos, like Road Rocket currently is. Road Rocket is a very underrated track car. And uh, that's what we've been using. That bullwhip and power pipes are all phenomenal track cars if you're looking to make videos and want a consistent car you can rely on for completing them. And uh, let's get into this. So it's got an exposed engine that's held together, held down by a brace on both ends. I don't know what kind of engine that is. Actually, it might say on the back. Uh, doesn't. I, th I remember in the, the documentary, it said something about a V10, maybe? I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. It has sort of a skull sh skull crusher, skull shaker. There's a Hot Wheels car that's based off of a skull. I'll cut to that right now, and you can see it kind of has the same layout with the cockpit in the back, and it sort of looks like a skull from the front and from the sides. Uh, these big Hot Wheels wheels uh, from the 50th anniversary, they have a little 50th anniversary uh, logo right there you can see. Uh, overall, it's a nice car. It's a plastic-based metal body, but that shouldn't hurt it because it's pretty low profile as far as weight distribution goes and being uh, grounded and not flying off the track. This should be a good track car. I'll have to look into it further. Um, next up, we got an error car that I actually didn't find. My little brother found this. This is the Bubblematic car, new for 2018. Uh find it hard to believe they're marketing this as a track car. I don't know who is in charge of putting best for track on these, but it's always not true. For the vast majority of the time, the cars that get best for the track and grade on the track are not really that good. This one, once again, open wheels, off balance, I don't know. But as you can see, I'll give you a little bit to find the difference between these two. It's pretty clear, just look at them. Uh, this car is meant to, you dip the wand in soap and water or bubble solution and you can make bubbles as the car goes through the track, which I thought is a pretty cool idea. And, uh, yeah, this one's missing the part that makes it blow bubbles. So, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, my brother found this. I did not find this. And I actually glossed past it without noticing it. So, 
I thought that was pretty cool of him to find it. I'm going to be keeping these in the box. But, uh, actually, I might, I'm going to open this one. Should I? I want to see how this car works. I'm going to open this one. Okay, so this is a metal base car. It's got smaller wheels in the front, big five spokes in the back, small five spokes in the front. Uh, this thing goes up. I was like, okay, just like that. Okay, good. I had, I, would, I had a weird feeling that the spoiler was going to end up popping the bubbles if it didn't go back far enough. And it does, so that shouldn't be a problem. So you dip this in the bubble solution, and you can blow and create bubbles that way, or just race the car. So that's a good idea. That's pretty cool. Reminds me sort of, uh, kind of reminds me of the Tooligan car. Just a car that actually has a pretty cool purpose to it. That's pretty cool. And there's the error counterpart. Last but not least, uh, picked this up at a local toy, not local, a small toy shop uh, in Austin, Texas. This is of more personal meaning to me than it is going to be for you guys. For you guys, it's just a cop rods from 2001, I think. Uh, yeah, 2001. 1999, I think. Yeah, not 2001. But uh, I grew up in Syracuse, New York, and I was just going through this guy's collection of these. And this one's from the Syracuse, New York Police Department. Kind of a weird, small city. Not a very well-known city except for its basketball team. And they chose that for this set. I thought that was pretty cool. It's a 32 Ford Vicky with the original treasure hunt wheels. Beautiful real riders with the white walls. Uh, very big card for how small this car is. This is from 1999 once again. Originally, I thought this was pretty cool from KB Toys. I don't know if this is a KB Toys exclusive, but sadly, uh, this and Toys R Us are out of business now. KB Toys and Toys R Us. So if this is an exclusive, it might be worth something. Other cars in the series... Are from Indianapolis, Jefferson City, Newmark, Bakersfield, El Paso, Pueblo, uh, Birmingham, Providence, Springfield, Syracuse, Columbus, Las Vegas, El Segundo, Boston, Madison, and Milwaukee. And uh, the car models are up there. This is very 90s, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that'd be a little fun unboxing and review special before Halloween. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for our track video this Saturday. And maybe some more Velocity X videos. I've been filming a few. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Uh, or what I'm going to do for an extended series. Maybe the challenges. But uh, you can definitely expect a Halloween themed track video this Saturday. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Bye.